In this video, I will show you how to fix slow internet speed in Windows 11. So let's jump straight into it. So there's a couple of things you can check and try if you are experiencing a very, very slow internet speed. So the first thing you're going to want to try is running the internet and network troubleshooter to see if there's any problems with your hardware, software, and things like that. Now to do this from your desktop, come down to the bottom to your toolbar and in the search box, just go ahead and type settings. Underneath best match, you should see settings come up. Give that a click to go into your settings and once you're in your settings come across to this menu on the left hand side and click onto system on the next screen what you need to do is scroll down until you see the option for troubleshoot so you can see that's just down here give that a click and on the next screen, go ahead and select the option which says other troubleshooters. From here, you're gonna see in the most frequent section at the top, we've got the network and internet troubleshooter. So what you wanna do is click run. And once you've clicked run, that's gonna take you to the troubleshooter. So from here, you can see in my case, I'm currently connected, but it's gonna run a troubleshooter to see if there's any connection problems. Now you can also run some network tests from here. So you can also do this in addition to the troubleshooter. So to do that, you would just literally scan the QR code using your mobile device and that's going to take you across to the Microsoft support site where you can go ahead and run some tests recommended by Microsoft to diagnose your problem see if there's any problems and potentially fix your internet speed so if you've done that but you're still having a slow internet speed the next thing you're going to want to try is flushing your DNS so to do this come down to your search box at the bottom and this time you want to go ahead and type CMD into the search box and right click onto command prompt which will come up underneath this match and then run as administrator so once you've got the command prompt opened to go ahead and flush your DNS you want to type the following command which is IP config then you want to put a space followed by a forward slash and then flush DNS just like so. Once you've done that, press enter on your keyboard. And as you can see, that's going to successfully flush the DNS resolver cache, which can contribute to slow internet speeds. Now, another thing you can try here is resetting the WinSort catalog, which is another thing you can do to basically help with slow internet speed. So to do that from the same screen, all you want to do is type this following command, which is net sh. Then you want to put a space and then WinSock, then put another space and type reset and then press enter. After doing this, you can see it says successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So once you've done that, just go ahead and type exit and then you can exit out of your command prompt. Then what you can do is restart your PC. And after you've restarted your PC, of course, try to use the internet and see if you do have a faster internet speed. If you have to try and all these steps, you're still experiencing the same internet speed. The final step I would recommend doing is disconnecting and plugging back in your internet router. So by doing this, it's going to reset your connection to your ISP and potentially improve your internet speed. What you can also do is contact your internet service provider who could run further diagnostics from their end to see if there's anything they can do from their end to increase your internet speed. So that is how to fix slow internet speed in Windows 11. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.